Where are we? <laughs> These little bar top areas. Oh. Yeah. It's nice. Cozumel. Are you excited? Yeah, me too. Okay, well, we're in Cozumel. Yeah. What do you want to do first? Probably keep walking and see what we see. Let's do that. And they have Cozumel maps available, kind of right as you get off the port. It also said coupons, so maybe there's some coupons in here. Tequila Go Go. Oh, that's what you were saying on the ship. They got some souvenirs in there, so I'll go check them out. Maybe find our magnet. I love that. Any magnets? No, not really. Oh, there's one like our... Oh, oh, this is like their sign. Do we want to get this one? Oh, this is huge. I didn't realize how, I thought it was just going to be the Cozumel, yeah. We can always look at a couple places and see, what is that? Oh my goodness. <laughs> yeah, let's, uh, let's just remember that this one's here. Hello. Hi. How are you? Good, how are you? Boring, I need customers. So we're gonna go find tacos at the blue truck, which I have heard about and read about. This isn't where we ported last night. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh. I think we were in the town center. Further up? Yeah. It definitely was not this, like, tourist commercially with the shop stuff. Okay. It was a little more local? Yeah, I mean, we got off and we were, like, surrounded by, like, pretty buildings and cobblestone streets and, yeah, it was really cute. Yeah. I mean, I'd like to see all that, but I don't know if we can do that today. So we're gonna get some nice local food. We're gonna pop into Carl's Jr. That's the famous blue truck. And then, a little further down. Yeah, it's what it says. No. Oh, that's what you say. Uh, the cruise port is literally just right back that way. Um, you have to kind of come out of the area and cross the street. Um, but this is where we were told to go. Yeah. <laughs> Looks yummy. Blue taco truck was pretty good. Um, definitely authentic. If you're used to American tacos, maybe not, maybe not what you would like. <laughs> but um, I think that just the, the taco truck experience is a little different. Yeah. But I have extreme paranoia about getting food poisoning. Other people Fair. do not experience that. So <clears throat> Anders will probably be fine. Uh, yeah, I'll let you know later if I'm. Uh, uh, yeah, throwing up or other. Um, 
but I, it was good and it was fun and unique. Yeah. A cool experience. Yeah. We I'm, got some cool people. Now we're gonna go see what else we can find. Uh, here's their photo shark. Every town has one. Here's the Cozumel photo shark. Nice. <laughs> Does that look real? Yeah, I'd say so. <clears throat> Great work. Hopefully if I ever get eaten by a shark, it's that easy. And you can just get and out. I, I, I pop out and I'm like, did that look real? <laughs> this is adorable. Are you, <laughs> are you okay? <laughs> yeah, I think I got that. Mini so. This reminds me of Uniqlo. Is it the same? Their logo looks similar. For Murphy. She'd kill it. <laughs> what is it? A little thingy? Oh my gosh. They have a piece of toast. They need to change the battery in their smoke detector. Oh my goodness, they have Disney ones. I see Donald already. <laughs> what is this place? They got a Lotso Huggin' Bear um, sleep mask. Cute. Oh, there's Mickey. Oh, yeah. And there's a Mickey. What is that Mickey? That's Minnie. Is that Minnie? Oh, that one? That's Is he like tracksuit Mickey? Tennis Mickey. Tennis Mickey. Okay. Oh, my gosh. Face. It kind of is Murphy. His name is Denny. Denny? Dunny. Dunny? It's a bear with his little face. That one's got goggles. Look at this little pig. Oh my gosh. This one's stuck in a pineapple. <laughs> <laughs> that one's stuck in a pineapple. <laughs> wow, they have <laughs> they have male to male DVI cables. <laughs> what year is it? <laughs> is that is he from We Bear Bears? Or is that just a generic bear? I think those are from Oh yeah, We Bear Bears. Well, if you are in Cozumel and you need Disney stuff or We Bear Bears stuff, Miniso is your place. They have a Disney 100 collection Mickey crossbody bag. And a mini. And a mini. They have like their own Lego. Like this is Miniso branded construction brick stuff. That was uh, Mini So. Never heard of that store before, and it's tucked in a weird spot in Cozumel. Like, cruise ship people would never find that if they didn't leave the port. Um, but yeah, there it is. There's the port area over there. There's Voyager. Down here they get nice little uh, courtyard. Really neat. Hard Rock Cafe Lounge is uh, bumping. Very popular spot here in Cozumel. Do you have a review of the uh, Royal Village Shopping Center second floor outdoor bathroom number one? Actually, they're very nice and very clean. It probably helps that this gentleman was just in there cleaning them. But yeah, very like tip top shape. Nice. Which is great. Right there. Playa Mia. I've heard good things about that. Yeah.
They have a, a soup soup up the day. Soup soup up the day with ice crouton. A soup up the day margarita with ice crouton. into the uh, Hard Rock Cafe in Cozumel for a uh, beer and water and some air conditioning. All right, Hard Rock Cafe Cozumel was fun. Awesome, awesome people in there. Yeah, very helpful. Yeah, walk away from the copyrighted music. Sorry, just documenting. This looks nice back here. Nice little pool area. That's really cute. Oh, I saw that. I saw that out the window. I saw that um, adventure out the windjammer window. But it's like a submarine that's being pulled by a boat. So I guess, yes. Yeah, it's really cool. So we're just walking around Cozumel, looking for Cafe Coco, a local coffee shop, just to the left of the pier. They said it was about a five minute walk, so we'll find out. So it should be to the right of this. There we go. Coco Cafe. Oh, nice. I got the Oreo Frappuccino. Look at this thing. It looks amazing. You need to try this. Holy cow, it literally tastes like a milkshake. It tastes like a blizzard. <laughs> That's so good. Okay, well now Hannah's food came out. Look at this monstrosity. What did you even, I thought you got a quesadilla. No, we ended up getting the chicken avocado sandwich. It smells like so good. It looks amazing. This chicken sandwich has like a little sauce ring on it. What is it? It looks so good. Coco Cafe. A must visit. You gotta go there. Like an actual must visit, not just like a, we're saying that. Yeah. So if you're in the cruise port, you gotta exit, which is complicated. a little complicated. You turn left. You go, it really is like five minutes from the yeah. cruise port. And it's just a straight walk. You don't have to turn or anything. Yeah. You get out and go left. And you're just on like the main strip. You have to, you, you pass the second Cozumel sign, like the Instagram sign. Oh, yeah. And it's just a little bit further past that on the right. You Very pass, unassuming. Like, a prison wall basically with barbed wire. Yeah. Like all concrete, no windows. And then right past it is Coco Cafe. My frappuccino was amazing. Like a milkshake. Your oh, latte really is good. wonderful. Yeah. Your sandwich looked great. Yeah. I didn't eat it, but you. Oh, so good. And it was all very affordable. We paid about 22 US dollars. Yeah, for, for a massive sandwich and two perfectly two drinks. handcrafted drinks. Yeah, it was, yeah, phenomenal. Would highly recommend. We'll definitely come back. Yeah. 
Um, and I want to leave them like a good review if they're on Google or something. So yeah. people can come find them. Definitely we, go check it out. Yeah, we found out from just a, um, a guy at the cruise port. Well, yeah, we asked him if there was any like coffee around. Like local coffee. And he was like, no, that's all downtown. And then he was like, well, there is this one place. And we are like, okay, we'll go check that out. Yeah. It was so much better than he made it seem. Yeah. I I feel like he he must just do like basic coffee or something. And we're like, we want the fancy stuff. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, it was really good. So we had to go that. You got to go. Um, the You didn't go to the bathroom, but that little, that back area was so cute. Oh, yeah. It's, yeah, really cute space. Um, very well, like, designed. Everybody was super friendly. Yes. Um, and easy to talk to, like... Here it's kind of hit or miss on whether or not people, everyone speaks English or like great or they'll, English. they'll try and yeah. But I mean, we know some words in Spanish, but not but a lot, and we could super do better. Minimal. Yeah. Um, so that's something we're gonna work on too. Cause yeah. We obviously want to be able to communicate. We're in their country, so right. We shouldn't really expect everyone. We to don't need them to, to speak our language. Yeah. yeah. We are where they live. Yeah. <laughs> but since we currently don't speak Spanish, um, they're they're very accommodating, and it's really not that hard to kind of understand you know, what they're trying to explain to you or like answer questions. And they, they make an effort yeah. too, because they want to help and- Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Obviously it helps, you know, with selling and stuff like that, but. Right. But yeah, so it was definitely great. Coco Cafe. Yes. Wanna show the sticker? Yes. Boom. Top notch. Check it out. Nice little resort area back here. You all right? Oh, step. Thank you. Hey, shout out to all birds. We've been walking all day. My feet feel great. Mine too. Not sponsored, but we could be. Not sponsored, but we'll talk to you. Let's see what's down there. Do huh? you want to go down? Yeah, I mean, it's open to the day. Well, let's go for it. How will they know we're not supposed to be here? We have lanyards. That's how you get in places. There's our ship. Giant pelican thingy. Oh, they got it there too. They got it there too. Yeah. That's cool. If it's not as choppy, you can see a little bit more like down into the water. Oh yeah. Farther out, but it's pretty. It's pretty bumpy to this. I mean, obviously we're right by the reef, but. Right. It's cool. Nice well, our our ship right there. Yeah. Oh, he jumped in. Huh? He jumped in. Man, this is going to be quite the wildlife series. It really is. Oh my gosh. Alright. No, he tried though. He put in great effort and that's what matters. Oh, look at him go. That's so oh. Walking along the beach here, right off the road. I know, it's not too hot. No, it's actually pretty comfortable now. I feel it was hotter earlier, but it seems like the cloud cover has helped a ton. Yeah. So. All right, well, you want to start walking back and see what the other side of the street holds? Sure. What if the sh we just saw the ship start moving right now? I died. Just popped up off the beach. It's, uh, time we got. 1.45, so we're gonna... <laughs> I'm vlogging. We're gonna make our way back to the port area, at least. Get our magnet and maybe get back on the ship. Yeah. You can hear the clop clop, but you're like, what is that? <laughs> Here's the Sunset Restaurant and Bar. Looks really cute. We are gonna go down this path off the sidewalk. Little tide pools. Any crabs or hermit crabs or anything? Electric eels? The bottle cap. Hmm. Ancient ruins. Yeah, oh my goodness, there's a bunch of them. You see them right there? Oh, there's a big one. There's little ones in here. Yeah. Ooh, one just darted out of this hole over here. 
That's water. <laughs> this is cool. That is cool. Yeah. Well, this is neat. You're not going to find this on the excursion list. Are these Mayan or Aztec ruins? It could be Inca, but I-N-K-A. Because of the graffiti, you know? They're Incan ruins. Inked in ruins. It's a little easier getting back. That's good. Is this how we came in? Yes, honey, there's stairs right here. Oh. All right, let's hit it. That was exciting. That yeah, was cool. We've never really done anything like that. So. No. That's why we like to explore on our own. Yeah. Yeah, and I mean, I'd like to do an excursion someday. Yeah. But. I think it needs to be something specific, not just like a tour though. Yeah. I feel like for tours, we want to like, if there's something cool that we want to stop and see or like something we want to explore, it's a little harder to do that in like a group setting yeah. or when you're on a timetable because you paid for it. Right. So. Like we're going to go to 12 places but you have four minutes in each one. We just like walking around on our own. There's Coco Cafe over there coming back the other way. Loved it there. There's paprika on that side which also looks cool. That's a wrap for us in the outside the terminal area. Yeah. So we're going to go back into the terminal or port. Yeah, just look around a little bit more inside. We didn't really do that earlier because we were kind of thinking tacos and bathrooms. And coffee and, yeah. and Arby's. Always right. thinking Arby's. Yeah. <laughs> They've got a bunch of different colors. Like, oh, look, these are the little things. The little kolaties. Oh, yeah. The people that we were ha um, having tacos with, they came here just to look for these little animals. Oh, the pygmy raccoons, yeah. And then right right behind where we were eating tacos, I guess, is a hot spot for those. Oh, that's a cute one. Is this the winner? Um, I think so. I just didn't see a price. Magnet acquired. Look, Piranha Joe from the Bahamas. Two for three dollars, why not? This is a fun little shop. Right inside the port area here. And they got AC blasting, which we like. Look for the uh, look for the moving hang tags if you want to find AC. <laughs> Chill. I do love me a land shark. Jump in in the ocean for the picture. <laughs> that looks like a cruise ship out there. Coming in. That that little dot. Really could be. That's like the bluest blue. Oh yeah. 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 It's so pretty. I wish there were dolphins here. I know. Nice and sweaty. <laughs> yeah. Going back onto the ship. Ew. <laughs> Did you bump me? I bumped into your arm. Yeah, pretty gross. We had a great day in Cozumel. It wasn't yeah. really a day in yeah. Cozumel, but... I mean, we were off the ship for quite some time. Yeah. I think we got off around 10.30. That sounds about right. A good, successful port day. And there's still so much more fun to be had. Indeed, indeed. Nice door. Hope they're having a great time. Uh, just sail before the veil. Oh, last sail before the veil. Good for them. We are back on the ship. This is the door that they close when they lock all the people in to drown them. 
Honey. What? That can't be true. <laughs> but it seems like it. Um, Anyways, we're back on the ship. Yeah. It was hot out there. It was. I'm realizing that more now that we're in the cool air. Look at him! Oh my goodness, he can go up there with barrels. Dude, that's the one on my shirt. Elephant. Cute. Elephant. Elephant. We have an elephant at home. Elephant at home. <laughs> Got our zoo going. I think um, the using cues called them a uh, Gus Garden when they Garden. when they put them together like that. What is this thing? Honey, stop obsessing over it. I just want I want to know what it is. They didn't change this elevator sign. It's Saturday. Isn't that funny? How dare they? Yeah. guys ready to go as a Chicagoan this is killing me I can't believe I let you do this I mean I can you can do whatever you want I don't tell you what to do <clears throat> but sometimes you do things that hurt me matcha cream puff looks yummy we're just popping into Windjammer to refuel before we head back out so we did go out and to the left, um, down that way. So that, uh, let me turn it on manual. That second building, this one, that's where we were before, all the way over there. And then we're gonna go out and go to the right next. Um, we did go to the right a little bit, we just went to the Hard Rock Cafe. Um, but we're gonna try to go a little bit further than that because we still have a lot of time between All Aboard and um, the next thing that we wanna do. So, gonna eat some food, carb up, and uh, go back out to Mexico. Earlier when I was like, that looks like it's a cruise ship. Turns out it's not a cruise ship. But, yeah, I don't know what that is. Looks cool. CPC certified. You're almost there. All right, nobody's in here right now. I just had to show this bathroom. This is the nicest bathroom I've ever seen in a Royal Caribbean ship. Deck 11 right outside Windjammer. So nice. This is the cupcake cupboard, which looks like it's closed. But this is where they would normally sell some cupcakes. Looks like they're getting ready to untether that carnival ship. Okay. Round two. We back out here. Ugh. Gonna explore a little bit more of Cozumel. Go out the port area to the right this time. All right. Ugh, we out here again. So this is where we were earlier. There's Hard Rock Cafe. The taco truck uh, is down the left to that street there. And we're just going to keep going this way straight. And see what we find. Yeah, on whatever street this is. Here's uh, El Chile. <laughs> Little marketplace area. Oh, I can hold him? Yeah. <gasps> Hold it out. Yeah. Okay, last one. Oop, we're dropping them. No problem. <laughs> you said his name is Coco? Ah! Yes, he's up 20 years. 20 years? How, how long like do this. they live? Oh no, I'm not doing that. You sure. can do that. Oh you my throw. goodness! <laughs> <laughs> Coco, no baby. <laughs> Come on, baby. Yeah, you put like this together, together. Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness! Now, 
He doesn't eat the seeds. <laughs> or he eats the seeds, but not the shell. Yeah. <laughs> He's very smart. He knows how to spit the shell out? Got it. He's doing it right. Oh my gosh, that is so cool. Dude, you have to watch this. You have to watch him open the seed. He's like, where's more? Okay, you want a kiss, baby, for the girl? Oh my god. <laughs> Honey, you kissed a parrot. I'm really proud of you for doing that. Thank you. That was very different. Well, you went for it and it was cool. Dude, it was really cool. His, you could see him opening the seeds. This is pretty cool back here. Yeah. They got a chocolate shop back that way. Chocolate shop. Chocolate shop and more. They got uh, rides or like what? Yeah, this is a cute courtyard. Yeah, this is um, like the other magnets we were seeing with the little creature. I had the turtle or the yeah, frog yeah. or the little monkey or whatever. No, it makes sense. Yep. The leather goods always get me. Yep. <laughs> I'll just look at the little pool area. Right, so there's uh, there's our ship and Still there, yep. <laughs> if it wasn't there, this would be a very different vlog. They got a little pool back here. Ooh, they got an Asian restaurant over here. Chi... Asian cuisine. Right by the Crew Dry Dock. Chiropractic, acupuncture, massages, internet. <laughs> the four essentials. <laughs> go down a little bit more and then cut across and go back. Um, I kind of feel like we're reaching the end of everything anyway, so my foot's starting to hurt. Yeah, there's not a whole lot to see over this way, it seems. Yeah. Puerto Maya over there. Yeah, here we can just do the crosswalk. Yeah. Head back to the ship. Yeah. The nice thing is there are sidewalks up here. Yeah. This is so nice. That's the main road right there, which uh, there's an intersection over there when you're coming out of the port area, and that cuts into that road. But this road looks like it's just for bikes. And then you still got the sidewalk for your walkers. That is so nice. We are making our way back to the ship. Probably going to call it quits. Um, so definitely more stuff to do to the left if you leave the cruise port. Yeah. I mean, um, I feel like heading into the downtown is probably not a bad idea either. Yeah, if you're going to... Maybe not like a tour, but you just taxi there. Right. Because then you have some more like shopping. And uh, the guy was saying that that's like local makers and stuff like that too, rather than just like all the touristy people in the tour or in the port. So but we didn't do that. We just kind of walked around. <laughs> Yeah. A bit so of a hike. <laughs> if you don't want to take a taxi, go to the left. Yeah. There was stuff to do to the right, but it's kind of towards the end of the day now. and uh, Everything's starting to close up. Yeah, one of the carnival ships already left, so we think that when the ships start leaving, they all close up, which makes sense. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so we'll head back to the ship now, and I'm going to take a shower. <laughs> Will we make it for that couple's cartoon couple's visual trivia? 30 minutes? Yeah, I think so. I think we can. Oh, there's a fish in here. How cute! Here in the little port area. Christmas tree in the center, all done up. Little nativity inside the tree. It's fun. It's got a popsicle cart. It's refilling. Yeah. Do you want one? Yeah, I don't know either. We can find out how much they are. Got your rainbow popsicle. That's really good. Is it? It's really good. <laughs> Eat what you want, I'll take the rest. What a nice way to end our Cozumel trip. I still want to know what that thing is. I don't want to leave, this has been so fun.
That carnival ship. The other one left already. People are getting too close to the water. Thomas the tank engine is mad. This is all I get. Done, Joe. Okay, so we had to ask what it was, but that is a, a vehicle ferry. That's it for Cozumel. Until next time. Whenever next time will be for Cozumel, we will come again. I just don't know when. We don't get a lot of opportunities. Well, I guess we just don't book cruises that come here. Later, Cozumel. Every time we walk back to this door, I'm hoping there's a free cruise certificate right up on that thingy. It's right here. It's where I want it. I will, I will stand by the fact that this is the nicest Star Lounge. Look at how nice this Star Lounge is. That's all I'm saying. It is really nice. So we just won um, uh, visual trivia. Name the, name, name the cartoon couple, and we got Royal Caribbean keychains. I know. We've been really curious what this means. Uh, the artist is especially drawn to highly textured, rich colored surfaces. She derives inspiration from nature, light, colors, travel, and listening to the unconscious. No idea. Like dead people or what? We just got out of the ice skating show, uh, which was awesome. Um, but yeah, like we've been talking about, uh, we were just told earlier today that there's gonna be some rough seas tomorrow. There's storms coming. Um, we're heading into some pretty aggressive uh, northern winds. He said about 40, 40 knots. So. Uh, ship's gonna be rocking tomorrow pretty good. I've experienced pretty bad, like, sea movement on one of my first cruises. And then on our Disney cruise, it was a little rocky. A little bit. But it wasn't that bad. But I'm definitely more prone to, like, any seasickness. Or motion, yeah. Yeah, or motion sickness than Anders is. Yeah. But you also. Well, I think, I don't know. Yeah, you also. I do find on roller coasters, and you don't. You but maybe this really is different. Felt this kind of. <laughs> yeah, we can already start to feel it a little bit now. Um, and go all the way up to 14. <laughs> 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 